Some say he's the one. The savior? How do you know it's really him? None of his followers are here. Do you think what some are claiming is true? After an ancient church was discovered on the small Mediterranean island of Estrella, off the coast of Italy, American archaeologist Alan Harris was assigned to a research project on the site to confirm the authenticity of the location. This project was a big opportunity for Alan, and though he would have to take on the duty alone, his wife, Amelia, a medical doctor herself, was accompanying him for the three-month stay abroad. This is our bungalow. Wow, it almost feels like this island is cut off from the rest of the world. Stepping into the old bungalow, Amelia stared at the outdated furniture. There was no television or even a telephone, and soon she and Alan realized there were issues with the electricity as well. What happened to the lights? Right, that. They said there would be issues with the electricity in certain parts of the island. We'll have to use lanterns or something during the power outages. That night, after settling in and managing the situation, the couple sat down by the patio to finally catch a breath of air. Out of all the places in the world, your boss had to send you here? What is so special about this island? Well, we're estimating the church that was discovered dates back to the first century. These ruins have a lot of archaeological value. It was founded by the pilgrims who traveled here by sea from Italy. Why come here? <laughs> where there's practically nothing and build a church. They say they had disagreements over their belief with the mainstream church bishops. The early church considered them heretics, but they quickly gained many followers when they arrived here because of the kind of life they lived. People around here say they would perform miracles and wonders. They healed people, cured lethal snake bites, brought people back to life. 
Listening to Alan, Amelia furred her brows. Alan, if they performed such great miracles, then why was the church destroyed and abandoned like this? It wasn't the people of this island, but rather, when the mainstream church discovered they were here, they sent soldiers to get rid of them. They came here and practically massacred all the pilgrims. Wow, that's horrible. I'm gonna go check out the site tomorrow. Once they get my approval back in America, they'll send a small team to start the excavation. After a particularly hot night, the next afternoon, Alan arranged a car from town, and Amelia too decided to go with him to see the church. By the time they reached there, it was near sunset. Entering the old building, Alan held up his flashlight as he looked around. Amelia followed behind, amazed by the old stone masonry, the woodwork, and down the great hall, the altar. As Alan quickly got busy checking out the first floor, Amelia noticed the staircase leading upstairs. Taking out her flashlight, she curiously climbed upstairs to find there was a library of books. Intrigued, she shone her light at the centuries-old bookshelves. She noticed a small book, almost like a journal, placed with some old scrolls. But just as she was to take one of the scrolls down, Alan followed after. Hold on, hold on. Don't touch those. They're artifacts. He said as he put on his gloves and took it from her. All right, all right. Just this journal. Amelia said, quickly snatching the book. Alan shook his head. Fine. After checking out the church a while longer, and waiting for Alan to wrap up. The couple headed out some time later that night. I'm going to have to head towards town tomorrow again. Can you believe there is only one telephone and, and fax shop on this entire island? Alan said as he walked out. Suddenly seeing something move by his leg, Amelia quickly called out. Alan, careful, a snake. Phew, do you think it was venomous? Don't worry, came prepared. In the next few days, Alan got occupied inspecting the, inspecting the church site and constantly traveling to town to send feedback and facts back to America. Did you see that man? Is he following us? It's like he's everywhere. Well, it's a small island. As the days went on and Alan was busy with work, Amelia found herself at home quite fascinated with the journal she had discovered. This church was built upon the cross of the Savior, the cross upon which he was crucified. Seeing the Savior, he secretly believed in him and stole that very cross. The centurion kept his faith and what was in his possession a secret his entire life.
but before his death, he confessed to his son of his doings. The cross, it is in the stable. Centurion passed away, leaving the cross of the Savior and the safety of his son. But it was soon. Some followers discovered the cross and fled to this island. And centering it, built this church. They did many miracles by which they gathered people and preached to them to believe in the Savior until the day. <laughs> Suddenly hearing a commotion outside, Amelia put down the journal and went out. She noticed a crowd out on the road and went to inquire what happened. What happened here? A snake bit her son. No one survives the venom of the vipers of Estrella. No, no, I can help. Seeing the young boy crying in his mother's lap, Amelia rushed inside and got her anti-venom kit. She hurried to help the young boy and injected the anti-venom. Anxiously monitoring his changes until... Soon, the boy calmed down. It's working. Seeing her child recover, the woman cried out in joy. The woman cried out in joy, thanking Amelia profusely. Taking off her necklace, she placed it in Amelia's hand. No, no, I can't take this. It was my duty as a doctor. What was the crowd about? Is everything okay? One of the children got bitten by a snake. Fortunately, the antivenom worked. This island, it's infested with them. Ever since that one incident, over the days, a lot of villagers came to know Dr. Amelia. Whenever Amelia could, she helped them out, treating the ill and providing them with medicines. And they too would bring her gifts and gratitude. Who was that? Don't ask. Another one of the villagers got bitten by those snakes. That's a gift? Yeah, these people are really nice. So you've been reading the journal? The journal, I wanted to tell you. I think I found out the mystery behind this old church. A centurion discovered the cross on which the savior was hung, but later it was discovered by a group of followers who brought it to this island and built a church centering the cross. Do you think that's how they performed all those miracles? Because they had the cross of the savior? The cross on which he was crucified? Interesting. Well, we'll soon discover the truth. If there is such a historical artifact at the church, then we've hit the jackpot. After hearing the story from Amelia, Alan grew quite intrigued about the church and got quite involved with his work. Before long, the days turned to weeks. And in all this, the couple got good news of a little one to arrive. It was one of these evenings after a tiring day. Alan was returning home. When he suddenly hit the brakes, seeing someone in the middle of the road. 
and stared ahead, suddenly recognizing the man. guy? Again? Watch where you're going. You almost came under my bike. The strange man only stared at him as he approached him and quite harshly said, You people shouldn't be here. People don't need to know about this church. This church doesn't deserve any recognition. What you people are doing will only bring suffering. This place, it's not what and why is that? Because their beliefs were heretical? What they believed have nothing to do with my work. This place has a historical significance. This is history. Now move from my way. Surprised seeing the man still standing in the way, Alan started the motorbike and swerved the bike around him. Lunatics. It was a chilly evening on the island waiting for Alan to arrive. Amelia was cooking some dinner out in the backyard. When she suddenly felt a piercing pain on her leg, realizing she was bit, Amelia immediately rushed to get her kit. Reaching home that night, Alan was exhausted and frustrated. Parking the bike, he hurried in to meet Amelia. But strangely, the bungalow was silent. Amelia? Amelia? Seeing the back door open, Alan was about to head out. When he froze seeing Amelia's kit on the ground. And Amelia laying lifeless. Amelia? Amelia? No. That night, Amelia had passed away from the snake bite. All these days on this island, she had selflessly helped everyone. And today, when she was in need, there was nothing left for her. With Amelia's death, not only Alan, but the entire village seemed to mourn. Alan never felt so grieved and so hurt. He had lost his wife, his unborn child. He felt he lost everything. With Amelia gone, he went into depression unable to focus on his work, unable to build the motivation to do anything more. But one night, he began pondering on all the stories. The people of the church, they would miraculously heal people bring people back to life, if only that was possible. Do you think that's how they were performing all those miracles? Because they had the cross of the Savior? The cross on which the Savior was crucified? Suddenly remembering what Amelia had told him, Alan froze. The cross, is it really here? Could it really be possible? Alan immediately went back home and got the journal Amelia had been reading. He spent days and nights researching on it, looking at every clue that could indicate where the cross was. 
He searched every inch and every corner of the church until he finally found what had been in front of him the entire time. What is this? As Alan pressed onto the wooden floor, all of a sudden, something began to shift. He stood up as a hidden chamber revealed itself below. Alan found himself staring at the two pieces of wood. really be the cross of the savior? Click on the subscribe button and check out more awesome videos on our channel. And don't forget to press the bell icon because you know it's interesting.